Hey guys, Carrie here. Guess what? Nine years of orthodontic work and reversal for four of the five has come to an end. Um, I was almost floored last week, Tuesday, when I had it done. I went in there and I was all expecting to get a new set of trays. And instead, I ended up just getting the attachments off and being told to wear my final uh, set of uh, liners, 45 of 45, overnight. And wasn't a real bright decision for my case to say the truth but you know whatever else right at this point um so i'll leave you with where I, i'll start you off with where i am now done <laughs> and extremely mad at youtube that i can't record from webcam anymore but that's beside the point so um, I brought some little models for us to look at of where I was and my progression and how, um, how important Invisalign was as a tool in this case because braces couldn't do it. They left me at this, at this point here. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys how much expansion was actually created through Invisalign for my case. This is my tray 45 of 45. Um, it's right here. So you can see that even there was another three millimeters at least brought on with the um, with the use of Invisalign and that's incredible that we got more expansion because see look at the spaces when I left the braces okay hold on a sec let's see how it can um, the braces were here see how the fake teeth were put in on the Invisalign but see look how much more space was actually created here from the uh, from the use of the uh, Invisalign. It's crazy. Um, wanted to share that with you. That was probably the biggest uh, achievement with Invisalign. I think was it was it was very good for turning teeth and roots in ways that traditional braces weren't able to. Because with the uh, traditional braces, I didn't have nearly the space created on the bottom either. This was one of the training trays before I actually got the official Invisalign set, and then that came to here. Um, I wanted to do a lot of comparisons in this video, kind of, because it's my final one. I'm done. I don't have any flaring. Ha <laughs> ha. Everybody was all on me last video for flaring. I was like, if you see flaring here, you're crazy. And that was one thing that, like, everybody was so worried about on me was flaring, 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 flaring. And the absolute truth is, no matter how crooked somebody's teeth are, if you could create these spaces in my mouth, you could find an ortho that could keep all your teeth. I mean, that's absolutely stupid that you couldn't. Um, this um, was my original orthotic. This is my original upper arch. Isn't it terrible from when I was 14 I saved this thing? I did another video years past about it. But, um, yeah, so this is actually where I started out. And I just wanted to show you the dramatic difference. I mean, the braces and expander worked okay. I mean, they created a lot of space, but they tilted the roots in a way that only like I think Invisalign was the best option I mean so this is how my upper arch started I'll match the same teeth I can match the molars here to where I am now is absolutely crazy I mean I don't know if I, I don't know how you this is where I started when and this is where I am now I mean it's a completely different mouth I mean looking at the the space created it is absolutely Tremendous. I mean, you can look at my old videos. I think what I hated most about my face before was the fact that under my nose, like, I had no upper lip and the whole thing rolled down and hung there. So it absolutely looked ridiculous. And if I was more tech savvy and felt like it, I would paste a picture of it so you could see the complete difference. And I couldn't smile right because it was so hard. Like, there's so much skin that has to be lifted when you put your whole self in an unnatural position. The only thing I'm still kind of really disappointed with is my chin, but I've told you guys that before. I may eventually get a chin implant. I've thought about it. I've talked about it. Um, it definitely is on the agenda for me, I think. I don't know. Um, I had my implant consultation, and I went for the CAT scan on that. That wasn't bad at all. They just kind of had you stand a little awkward and the thing buzzed around your head, but it was nothing like an MRI. Thank God, right? Um, you guys know from my, I think my right physical, I did an MRI video a while ago. But, um, yeah, that was, 
that wasn't too bad. Um, I was a little nervous to get the implants put in, even though my last visit before the one I was just at to get the attachments removed, they told me I could get the implants started then, and I was such a chicken shit, I didn't do it, you know, until like now, so... One of the other things is I'm supposed to only wear these 12 hours a day because, like, you know, they're cheesy. They're meant to be worn for two weeks. Even though I was doing weekly, I kind of moved my appointment made sure I had them in full time for two weeks with the attachments. When they took the attachments off, though, the pain of having them kind of went away a lot. And um, I had two more infections that I didn't tell you guys about where I had major abscess teeth from Invisalign. Um, because of like the root contouring, it was just creating pockets and they were filling with pus because you know how germed up your mouth is, right? And when you start like turning roots and stuff, these things were unbelievably painful. You know, braces would be painful for like a week after you got them tightened. I was changing these things weekly. So as soon as I got through like three or four days of pain, I was right back there again. And I think I was almost moved too fast for me. Um, it was just, it was just, I was in pain all the time. I had a really hard time chewing. Um, I still kind of have a hard time chewing. But one of the reasons was because I had grind patterns. I don't think I've ever talked to you guys much about this. But from when this tooth was sunk in all the way, the inside of it was hanging out. Like, I don't know if you can see. Here's my original set. Like, you can see that, like, the upper teeth. There was, like, a, um, a crossbite going on here. Or see how the upper, upper first molar hung in. Gosh, the lower first molars were over it. And... Anyways, the tooth was sticking out in the back, and the jaws weren't in the right place, so I grinded it down so bad it was like a spike hanging out. So I wasn't even touching my teeth in the back, but he uh, did some adjusting so that my bite was normal. And that helped a million. That was just not fun, because I couldn't grip any food. Not to mention the big ass gaps, you know, because I'm not even like missing the same one. So that's like another tooth that I can't really use. But I don't think the whole time, ever since I had braces as a kid, I was really ever able to use my upper incisors after they took out the lower first premolars. Because there's such a, there's such something here connecting line that's just almost worthless like that. So people don't realize you need your teeth. They're there for a reason. They're not like, you know, meant for some goofy little prissy orthodontic nonsense. They're, they're there because they're there to help you chew. I never chewed as well since I had extraction orthodontics. And... With, with reopening the gaps, obviously I'm not chewing as well, just to be honest, because I have these great big sinkholes in my face. Um, yeah. So, um, sorry I haven't been super active on here at all, or much. Um, and it took me a while to film this video. It's just, I, I'm active on other social medias, but to be honest, I don't want to talk about dental on any of them. So if you want to follow me on them, that's fine. You can go see me on Twitter. It's the same name. But please, don't talk to me about teeth on there if I catch you doing it. I'm not going to like it. Because there's a lot of people that know me from other places, and I don't share the story unless you find it. You're on yourself. Um, although, less and less do I care as it's, as, it, as it's now over, and I just have to get the implants. But, um, yeah, so I really would rather wear these out in public than not, even though I'm only supposed to wear them at night. Because um, they kind of fill up with water. See here? And it's not quite as noticeable that I'm missing all these teeth. You see, you know what I mean? It's just a self-conscious thing, and I think rightfully so. Um, I was hoping to be farther. He said he was going to call me back about a week ago about these implants because there's different brands, and they had to figure out um, which brand would fit best in there um, on them. So... Everything is good on that end. Um, nothing hurts at this moment. It's kind of just like wearing a retainer. But let me tell you, if I leave them out more than three or four hours, they hurt again. And I don't think, in my case, it was a bright idea to do that. Because these gaps start closing if I don't wear the stupid retainers a lot more than just 12 hours at night. So I leave them out. I left them out one time 12 hours for a day. And it was just so painful. These lower teeth started moving back again. I mean, we got a great big sinkhole there. That's why I think if I get the implant post put in, that might not be as bad. I'm hoping. Because, you know, I know I'm going to probably have to wear a retainer for the rest of my life. I've, I've learned to accept it. But I don't want to have pain every time I put the retainer in for a half hour while they try to resettle again. Um, yeah. So, um, you guys can see, I think one of the 
biggest saviors in this whole thing was expansion. I, I always say that because coming from this, this is the original, finishing with this is just absolutely, it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, you can, you can see there, um, this is actually fitting in that. So you can see how much these things were sunk in over there. I don't know, but that's like right there. See it? That's, that's, that's huge. That's tremendous. And, um, breathing is incredibly better. Um, opening and closing my mouth is, is so much better. I could hardly open my mouth. I can actually fit four fingers in my mouth now. Gosh, there was a time where I've been lucky to get two in there. But, you know, hey, we all make our own mistakes. Unfortunately, this, this original one with my parents doing, I actually didn't want it at the time. And I had to live with it, so. Sometimes things just go wrong. Sometimes they go right, but. I'm done with this journey now. I'm going to do a, probably do a video or two for you on the implants, but if you do see me on Twitter, I'd be more than happy if you want to check out my, my pictures that I post almost daily or my musically that I come put up stuff on. It's just, I'm not going to be talking about teeth on there. So if you talk about teeth on there, I'm probably not going to like it and I'm probably not going to want you on there. Okay. Just what I'm saying. I don't want to be inboxed about teeth over there too. That's going to annoy the heck out of me because um, let me let me be honest here. Every question people inbox me about is answered in one of my videos. And the other thing is, it's not that it's annoying. It's a part of my life that was horrible at one time that I'm I'm past now. And when I have to read about other people going through it, it takes me back there. So I really don't want to go back there. And um, I hope you guys can understand that. It's just kind of like you know a rape victim, and then they have to relive it in court. And like I would have to do that every time somebody would respond to me. But I would make an effort to put in the next video why things were so. And now that I'm not in pain anymore, I just kind of want to move on with my life. So sorry if that's rude because I know I know how bad it can be. And I have videos out there of support for that. But um, I probably have 100 inboxes right now on this one, just about teeth. And I, uh, to be honest, I don't want to go back. Um, all right, guys. Have a fabulous night. I'm going to try to... Check in with you guys when I get the implant posts or when I get the actual crowns. I'll probably do two videos on that. Let you know how the procedure goes. Let you know how everything works. Show you what it's like. I can do that. All right, guys. Have a great night. And thank you so much for following this journey that has now come to an end orthodontically anyway. It's just some implants.